Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at 5 people who did the least to become millionaires. Before we start I want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Let's get right into it. At number 5, Jonathan Kwok, $2 billion. Jonathan Kwok is a director at Empire Group Holdings, a property development and investment company. Jonathan is the younger son of the late Walter Kwok, former chairman of Hong Kong's largest developer, Sun Hung Kai Properties. Walter died on October 20th, 2018, at age 68. He had been ousted as company chairman in 2008 in a feud with his two brothers, Thomas and Raymond. After his death, Jonathan and his brother Jeffrey took over Empire Group Holdings, a property developer that Walter started after he left SHKP. The brothers inherited Walter's direct stake in SHKP and are named beneficiaries of one third of five large family trusts held by their grandmother. Publishing company, Berta Media Group. Elizabeth Furt Wagner didn't have to deal with many problems growing up. She's the daughter of Hurt Berta, CEO of Herbert Berta Media, one of Germany. At number four, Gustav Magnowitzo. Witzo owns close to half of Salmar Acer, one of the world's largest salmon producers. His stake was gifted to him in 2013 by his father, Gustav Witzo, who founded the company in 1991. Salmar has led the industrialization of fish farming in Norway, refining the product into more sophisticated cuts with higher margins. The elder Witzo still runs the company. Gustav Magnar, meanwhile, is trying to make his own mark investing in real estate and tech startups. At number three, Katharina Andronson at $1.1 billion. She is the daughter of Johan H. Andersen Jr., owner of Third AS, who in 2007 transferred 42.2% ownership stakes each to Katharina and her sister Alexandra. She is the great granddaughter of Johan Andersen great-great-granddaughter of Johann Hendrik Andersen and Anton Klaveness, and great-great-great-granddaughter of Nikolai Andersen. Johann Hendrik was the brother of Nikolai August Andersen and the uncle of Nils August Andersen Butoshin. In November 2017, Andersen was fined $27,000 for drunken driving. Andersen's blood alcohol content was three times the legal limit. Alongside the fine, the sentence included a 13-month license suspension. In 2019, she stated that she would be moving to London, England. At number 2, Alexandra Andresen, $1.1 billion. Alexandra and her sister Katharina, one year her senior, each inherited 42% of the family-owned investment company, Third. Andresen's father, Johan, still runs the company and controls 70% of the votes via a dual-class share structure. Third runs hedge funds, is an active investor in the Nordic Stock Exchange, and has private equity funds as well. And at number 1, Kylie Jenner, at $1 billion. Jenner is the founder of Kylie Cosmetics. The company was valued at $1.2 million when Jenner agreed to sell a 51% majority stake in it to beauty conglomerate Coty Incorporated in 2019. At the age of 14, in 2012, she collaborated with the clothing brand Paxson, along with her sister Kendall, and created a line of clothing, Kendall and Kylie. In 2015, Jenner launched her own cosmetics line called Kylie Lip Kits, which was renamed to Kylie Cosmetics the following year. They also released a mobile app that reached number one on the iTunes app store called Kendall and Kylie. In 2014 and 2015, Time magazine listed the Jenner sisters on their list of the most influential teens in the world, citing their considerable influence among youth on social media. As of December 2020, with over 206 million followers, she's one of the most followed people on Instagram. In 2017, Jenner was placed on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list, making her the youngest person to be featured on there. Jenna starred on her own spin-off series, Life of Kylie, which premiered on E! on August 6, 2017. In November 2018, New York Post credited her for being the most influential celebrity in the fashion industry. According to Forbes, in 2019, Jenna's net worth was an estimated $1 billion, making her, at age 21, the youngest self-made billionaire as of March 2019. Though, the notion of Jenna being self-made is a subject of controversy, owing to her privileged background. In May 2020, however, Forbes released a statement accusing Jenna of forging tax documents so she would appear as a billionaire. The publication also accused her of fabricating revenue figures for Kylie Cosmetics. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of our other videos. Until next time.